Well, like Melissa said, uh, my name is Chris Thomas. I am Onondaga Beaver Clan um, Syracuse, out of Syracuse, New York, and uh, we got invited and honored to be down here to celebrate Indigenous People Day with you guys. But uh, she invited us to come down and um, demonstrate a couple of our Iroquois social dances for you guys. Now, these songs are um, non-ceremonial um, songs and dances, so it's okay to share with a public setting. But uh, we do these dances um, to entertain ourselves, uplift our spirits, and have a good time and be sociable. So uh, um, some of these um, dances are more difficult than others. Some of them have a, like a um, certain step, but um, um, some of them will demonstrate, and um, you guys can have a chance to dance with us. But um, I think we're going to get right into it. Um, get right into it. And... Uh, the first um, dance we usually do in our socials at our longhouse is, is um, a stomp dance, so um, uh, or a stand and quiver dance, which um, before we would go to war, we would put our, our, our arrows or quivers in the middle and dance around them for like a blessing for a, a good good um, hunt or, or off to war and stuff. But I mean, uh, again, this is a stomp dance, so we're going to demonstrate. It's a very simple dance. If you can walk, you can do this dance. Um, so yeah, we're going to come on out for a stomp dance.
All right, we're going to speed it up here a little bit and uh, bring our dancers out to do um, what is called Genzaino. It's called the fish dance. And um, every one of our social dances, um, we never ask for anything. We just um, give um, like uh, blessings and give thanks for every, um, everything. We never ask. Ask. We're just happy to be here and breathing. So um, this fish dance, it, um, it's a partner's dance. So in a certain part of the... Um, dance and song, you'll see, notice the dancers um, switch positions, and that represents the fish swimming upstream. So we're going to bring our dancers out and uh, have them demonstrate this uh, fish dance for you. All right, fish dance. <coughs> Take a little um, time to um, demonstrate the instruments I've been using. Okay, right here is our traditional water drum. It's um, hollowed out from a bark of a tree, stump of a tree, and just hollowed out on top and um, inside. So it's uh, it's hollowed out and burned down to so we could get water in. And and here's a plug, a plug so we don't have to keep um, taking this ring out. It's a wooden ring, and then you just wrap cloth around it to keep the Deer, this is deer hide stretched over the top of it to keep it tight on there. But like to take this off every time to put water in it, it's a little, it's a hassle. So that's why they, uh, we make a hole on the side with a plug, and there's a little bit of water, a little bit of water. So how this works with this leather stretched over the top? Every time I'm hitting it, there's water on the inside getting knocked off of the leather, so it brings the the pitch higher, pitch higher, higher and higher. So just to um. Bring that um, tone back down. Just re-wet the leather, and it'll bring the bring it right back down to its original um, setting. So every, everyone sets their, their drum to their own liking. But yeah, this is our traditional water drum. And uh, this is our uh, traditional horn rattle. And uh, when you usually when you see this being used, it's um, accompanying the um, water drum. You, you, they usually go together, and, and um, but there's certain songs where it's just the horn rattle, and there's certain songs that's just the water drum, but uh, um, normally they're they're together. But this is our traditional um, horn rattle. It is cow horn up top, hollowed out in the middle. You get as best as um, do as best you can to um, scrape out the middle of the horn, and um, I think they they used to um, bear, yeah they would um, bury it bury it so the um, bugs could eat the rest on the inside. So and then just get, make a wooden top and bottom, a handle, stick it through there, and um, get your own shakers. It's, um, it's whatever you prefer. Some people use corn, popcorn, BBs, or beans, whatever they like. But yeah, this is our traditional horn rattle. Yes, I haven't used this yet, but uh, this is in uh, Iroquois. This is out more out west. This is a um, skin drum. It's um, elk hide. It's got a wooden frame on the inside. And uh, this is elk hide um, stretched over the top. So this is like the opposite of the water drum. This works best if it's dry. Like if it's rain raining out, it'll sound like a wet cardboard box or something. <laughs> but I uh, mean, uh, see, like it, now it sounds pretty good. But I uh, mean, um, yeah, just to tighten it up, you just uh, put it up, you, they put it out in the sun. It'll tighten right up after a time. Or like if you're at a hotel, hair dryer. <laughs> but yeah, this is more out west. But um, we adapt to it and use it for some of our um, our Iroquois, Iroquois stuff. Well, that being said, um, our next dance is uh, a, another partner's dance. And what I was going to get to is uh, some of our um, social dances that we have are uh, borrowed. They're not really ours, but um, from other tribes. And uh, so like, we liked it so much that we asked if we can carry it along or carry it on. There, there are songs in our, in our version, in our way. And, and it was, yeah, they, 
agreed that we could do that. Same with them, with other um, tribes all over the United States. The um, same way we like trade songs and stuff. And so to this day, we still do certain ones from certain people. So like this next one is um, is called uh, alligator dance, and we don't have alligators up here in New York. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, again, it's the alligator dance, and it's come from the Seminole tribe. Seminole is in Florida. So this is where we um, borrowed that dance from, this alligator dance. All right, so we're going to have these ladies coming out and demonstrate this um, alligator dance. And how it works, it's um, um, usually a male female, and female partner, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. So they interlock elbows, arms, and a certain part of the song, they're going to spin the outer person around in a circle. So everybody does that all at once. So it looks pretty cool once you get a lot of people and then you see everybody spin all at the same time. So anyways, that represents the snapping of the alligator's tail. So we're gonna uh, demonstrate this alligator dance for you guys and, um, and uh, invite you guys in once again. If you guys like to try this, it's very easy and it's fun. But uh, yeah, while they're demonstrating, find your partner. to it it's okay give him a hand uh, uh, but uh all right i think we're gonna slow it down a little bit and um bring our dancers out to do the round dance so again um we'll teach you this um there's a um, certain step to it and it's it's fairly easy so we'll, we'll have our uh, dancers come on out and get in a circle and we're gonna have them demonstrate this step for you and um, and then in um, in a certain part of the song, it switches directions, so you switch feet, not like crossing, but <laughs> but you'll see. All right, we're gonna have them demonstrate this um, round dance for you guys. So everyone, look at Haley. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That simple step. So if uh, anybody wants to come on in, really easy. One foot in, one foot out. All right. Uh, all right. So um, this next um, dance we're gonna do is called uh, in our language Escanier. Um, it is called the uh, women's shuffle dance, and um, in our uh, culture. Um, we highly honor our women. They're like they choose our chiefs, mm -hmm. our our faith keepers, they're the boss. Mm -hmm. They're the boss. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, we're, we don't like to admit it sometimes. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they run the show. They run the show. So um, they have their own song to honor them because without our, our women, we wouldn't be here. So, um, again, this uh, honors our women as well as yours, too. So um, any, f any females that want to come up and uh, try this dance, um, feel free. Come on up. Don't be shy. Follow our dancers behind. And uh, as um, like I always say, we'll have them demonstrate it first so you guys can get the gist and um, 
if you pay attention to their feet, their feet really never leave the ground. So that, that massaging um, represents them, massaging the back of our mother, the earth. So again, then you'll see them going a um, counterclockwise uh, motion. And then in our, um, um, as uh, Longhouse people, we go that way uh, for a certain reason. But um, yeah, all of our dances go in a counterclockwise circle. But uh, all right, ladies, come on up. I'm gonna have them demonstrate this woman's dance for you. <clears throat> One song and then we'll invite um, everyone else in. Give them a hand. Stay out there, ladies. So every um, year in our um, confederacy, all of our nations um, come to one reserve, one reservation, and to share these um, women's dance songs. So when that happens, we call it like the sing, just the sing. And so all these um, um, natives from all our, our whole confederacy um, come to one um, nation and share these songs with one another. From, from the morning all the way until the evening. And in the evening, we have a, a big social dance like we're doing now, but with like a lot of people in our longhouse. So, um, yeah, so some of these songs, I know, you're probably wondering, like, do they mean anything or, you know, um, language? And so, um, a lot of them do have language and do have meaning to them. But a, a lot of them are our old chants just passed down from generation to generation. So, again, so like, um, so like when we have this sing, people make up their own songs from old chants. So like some people put uh, English words in it, like that last one. I always like um, doing that at the shows because it's like can talk about it. But it's um, I think it's from an old country tune. Oh yeah, but I always like uh, singing that one for them. But yeah, that's uh, our uh, women's dance, and um, we have our own like uh, ceremonial uh, women's dance songs. But that's just uh, we do that behind closed doors. But these are like the ones that we can share with the public. So. Uh, all right, we're getting pretty close to the end of our performance, so um, I want to explain a little bit of our, our, our next dances we're going to be doing. And it is, um, all right, so th it's called uh, smoke dancing. And uh, <laughs> the, ki <laughs> the kids like this. It's like a grand finale for, for our, our shows and, and for um, the socials. But um, yeah, it's called smoke dancing. And um, not too long ago, it was just called the war dance, and which the only men did before they went out uh, off to war or, or, to, um, or um, to psych themselves up or when they got back from war. And like, um, it's like, it's very animated, the war dance. And um, there was like, um, like do moves from like what they did out in the field and more or looking for tracks or stuff like that. But um, yeah, so the smoke dance originated from the war dance, which was a slow pace. War dance was slow. But uh, over time, they just sped up the pace of the um, the drum, the beat of the drum, and started calling it smoke dancing. The cone of they were dancing fast, and then the dust was creating, looking like smoke, and going out the longhouse. So then started calling it smoke dancing. I think it was like, um, and then and it was only men that did it. But um, over time, I think the early '60s, where um, women um, were they're saying like we can dance just as fast as the guys, or even yet better. 
And so now to this day, well, women still do smoke dancing. So then the smoke dancing is a contest. It's like a fast style freestyle. It's like a minute, less than a minute long, but it's fast. And um, it's a contest contest um, dance and it's done all over the United States and Canada, even uh, evolving overseas, even the smoke dance competition. So people travel to this because there's money involved. There's judging and like it, you can get disqualified. The, the rules are like um, they judge you on your regalia. Like our regalia now is our more contemporary, um, like with the with the hanging hanging um, um, ribbons and the flashiness. This is more contemporary. It would it would be more more plain and the and the ribbons would be attached, not hanging like that. And um, but uh, again, uh, so we're gonna. Um, I think uh, I, these uh, young girls want to do uh, by themselves. I think right. No, no. All right, we'll bring uh We'll bring uh we'll bring these two uh, well, you know what we'll bring Haley out first. We'll have Haley. We we'll have Haley come on out. And Haley is uh she is a well known uh champion smoke dancer uh, all over um our uh, Indian country here. But uh all right we'll give her a smoke dance song and this is her version of smoke dance. Anybody think they can do that? You can do whatever you want. You can do cartwheels, do the moonwalk. Oh, oh. All right. Okay, I guess uh, we'll bring uh, Oksana out to demonstrate her version of the smoke dance. <laughs> Some smoke dance songs the dancer has to um, know the song and if there's um, distinct like jumps and stops in the song they got to know that and show it in their dancing and they got to stop on time and so yeah so um, we're gonna bring them out and have them I'm gonna try to stomp them see if I can trick them make them mess up <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, um, I think that concludes our show for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the dancing as much as we've enjoyed dancing for you. Thank you.